Tons and tons of clubs. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Man, these are some of the nicest junior clubs that I've ever seen. Guys, welcome back. Today, Ashley and I are going thrifting for golf clubs. We're actually in the town where I proposed to Ashley, so we might do a little bit of a sightseeing. We've had some luck in this town before, so let's get inside thrift store number one and see what we can find. All right, we got a ton of clubs in here. These are gonna be fun to go through. Looks like a bunch of uh, older stuff. Got an old Titleist 9 iron. We got a Callaway X12 4 iron. We got an Air Bear 3 wood. We've got a 10 iron back there, <laughs> McGregor 10 iron. Might have to try that out. This looks like a Cobra. Yep, we got a Cobra 6 iron. What do we got right here? Title of 704 CB3 iron. And missing a grip though. Clubs are only a dollar. I can regrip this. My brother actually uses the, uh, these clubs. Title of 704 CB. He's got an old school Wilson Sam Sneed sandwich. What else do we got in here? There are a ton of clubs in here. We'll probably go through these and see if we find anything worth picking up, but best club so far is probably that Titleist 704 CB. But we'll let you know if we find anything else. All right, nothing really worth picking up there. We've hit that Titleist 3 iron before, plus it was missing a grip. But luckily, there are tons more thrift shops in this town, so on to the next one. No donations accepted today. That didn't stop somebody from uh, donating their entire collection of Tervis cups here, though. That's like one, two, there's like 10 Tervis cups right there. They're all different teams. Yeah, how could you be a Florida State fan and a Miami fan? Must be rivalry, husband and wife. Yeah, house divided for sure. <laughs> Found this pretty sweet WGC Mexico Championship hat on the way back to where the golf clubs normally are. Looks like we got a set of, I think these are like Ping G2 or Ping G5 knockoffs. That's a pretty sweet bag though, a tailor-made stand bag. Yeah. I think they're selling them as a set though, so we don't need all of those gloves just for the bag. What else do we got back here? Another set. Got an old wooden driver. Oh, a Ping, uh, Ping I2 3 wood. That's pretty cool. And then we got a uh, Wilson Invex. I think this is the driver that John Daly used uh, when, he, when he won that PGA Championship. Everybody was commenting on how weird the driver was and how far he was hitting it. I think this is the one. I think his had like a red um, finish on the top. Not really sure though. It's a cool shape. Yeah, it's definitely cool. We should try that out just because it's goofy looking. It almost <laughs> looks like a uh, Cleveland Vast or something like that. I'm gonna pick that up. I think the uh, clubs in here are like a dollar, so. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna get the, I already have a Ping Eye too. Yeah, let's just get the Wilson one. That one looks like it should be fun to hit. See if we can't get our John Daly swing on. Channel John Daly and I'll get over my bunker. Yeah, yeah, that'd be the club that you hit over the bunker. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. Looks like we got a little AMF Junior set right here. A couple of uh, full sets that are tied together or at least taped together. What are these? It's like a bed rail system or something like that. Got a big Bertha steel head. I think this is, whoop. We got a, steel. Yeah, we break it, we buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bertha Steelhead number five. What is this? Three ninety nine. Oh, it's one of those uh, tour striker. You have to like take That's a divot. Really good for me. Yeah, you have to like take a divot in order to hit the grooves. That's probably a pretty good training aid for Ashley. And then, what do we got right here? Oh, old school Big Bertha S two H two two wood. Never actually hit that. We should try that. It's like really random assortment of clubs, but can't complain with that. And uh, we're getting yelled at, so let's get out here. I thought we were getting yelled at in there for a second, but we were just blocking the door. We got a couple of good Callaway woods and then uh, that Tour Striker. We should do a uh, challenge where I play with the Tour Striker and you play with the full bag. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, but I'm excited to practice with this as well. I definitely have to focus on the center of the club. So. Yeah, you'll uh, note if you miss that, but uh, we got a couple more thrift stores to go to. We'll meet you there. All right, this is that thrift store that moved all of their clubs outside. They always get rained on. They have good stuff, so I don't know why they moved him out here got a sweet looking nicholas bag got edwin watts a uh, little swag pouch got uh these look like a taylor made 300 series knockoffs tons and tons of clubs let's see if there's anything good in here super concord woods looks like a, a taylor made rescue not oh here's an actual taylor made uh, rescue club right here <laughs> nice regular flex we gotta definitely pick up man those are some nice junior clubs this is the ricky fowler set. yeah i think this is the ricky fowler set ashley was saying there's tons of noise out here someone painted a uh, old ping i3 just kind of match <laughs> yeah it kind of match that that's kind of funny oh, got a nice. only oh, this is a little <laughs> tiny little uh, uh odyssey two ball that's a full set of those callaway uh junior clubs right that's there cool. Yeah, if you guys are looking for some junior clubs, this is the St. Paul Vincent's or St. Vincent Paul's uh, thrift store in uh, St. Augustine. Definitely some good uh, junior clubs here. Let's see if they got anything else. Tom Yammer 855s. 
Got some Ping Zing knockoffs. <laughs> oh, that's a Ping I 25, I think. Yeah, Ping I 25 red dot U wedge. Definitely gotta pick that up. Got the CFS uh, shaft in there. Got a ton of other. Oh, those are like brand new uh, tailor made R15 head covers. Oh, they're like so clean. Oh, nasty. I don't know why they keep their stuff outside. They have like huge indoor building and they have all of this golf stuff and they usually have good stuff too. It's like a ping g5 head cover over there this is like the thing that goes on the uh, golf cart and you wash your uh, balls and clubs it's kind of funny huh i only found some good stuff i don't think the hard stuff's gonna come down for a while all right, it basically rained like that for two straight days. Our course is still closed. We're going to head out here and play four or five holes, test these clubs out. Should be fun. Yeah, well, John's going to play. My neck still kind of hurts, so I can putt or something. Although, I don't think we have a putter, so yeah, you'll we'll figure, figure it out. Yeah, you're the world's greatest putter. You don't need a putter to uh, putt. But uh, first hole here is about 320 yards. Let's see if we can't put one in the fairway. John's going with the Wilson Invex. Looks kind of funny, but if it's good enough for John Daly, it's good enough for this, John. Well, that was kind of a slow day thrifting, but that last thrift shop always has tons of clubs, but they just let them rust out outside. But, however, it did have the most junior sets I've ever seen, so hopefully some kids can pick up some really nice sets. But John's looking for his ball. Hopefully we can find it over here in the trees. Well, we managed to find John's ball, but he's definitely got a bit of a tree trouble. The pin's actually behind those trees, but he's going with a Ping I-25 U-Wedge about 100 yards away. I'm not really sure if he's going over the trees, under the trees, through the trees. Going with over. Off to a kind of sloppy start, but we can still get this up and down. It's just short left of the green. The greens usually are really like not the best here, but they look like they've done a lot of work. Definitely cut down. It used to be a really shaggy, so. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Might be playing here more often. <laughs> Got about a five footer, but shouldn't be a problem for the world's greatest putter, although she is using a U wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley always putts well on these greens. They're kind of slow and she just knocks them right in the back of the hole. I wish I could do that with a, I'm just afraid of having a three footer coming back all the time. But next hole is about a hundred, I think it's like 110 yards. So we're gonna use the U edge once again. <laughs> Kind of pulled that one, but we snuck it onto the left-hand side of the green. Got about 30 feet left for birdie. Also, we have to do the giveaway announcement on those Wilson and Snell golf balls from a few videos ago. And then we might do a uh, giveaway on this one because I realized the club I'm going to hit on the next hole. We already have two of, so we'll uh, do a giveaway on that after Ashley makes this uh, 30, 35 putt. We're going with the U-Wedge again. U-Wedge again. <laughs> yeah, it's basically turning into a U-Wedge challenge, but we'll hit some uh, different stuff here sure. pretty quickly after Ashley makes the putt. Even I can make that putt. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, let's, let's let you finish that one. Maybe I can't make that putt. There we go, we'll leave the putt. Yeah, we'll leave the putting to Ashley. <laughs> All right, the next hole is a par 330 yards. John's actually gonna go with the Tour Striker training aid, but we just realized that we actually already have one of these, so we're gonna give one away to you guys. Yep, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the video, be a subscriber, and comment Striker, and that'll get you uh, into the giveaway. And then we still have to do the giveaway announcement on those uh, snail golf balls. Yep. We'll do that after this hole. But uh, 130 yards, I don't know if this is the right club I, no. or if I'm gonna hit it well, so we'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's see the giveaway winner. I think this is the one where you had to name the uh, bunker for Ashley. Yes. So uh, what was the winner? Ashley Sandbox? Ashley Sandbox, but the write-in vote was definitely Ashley's Beach. Yeah, a lot of people commented at Ashley's Beach since <laughs> we live in Florida. So let's pick the winner. Uh, we had 595 comments, so this might take a second. Nope, here we go. We got a winner, Ziggy7SIU. So uh, contact us, our email is in the description below and uh, just send us your uh, address and everything and we'll get whatever one you want shipped out, either the Wilson Fly Golf Balls or uh, any Snell Golf Ball that you want. We're not sponsored by either of those, we're buying them and giving them away to yep. you guys, but uh, uh, what is it, SIU, is that Southern Illinois University, a fellow Midwesterner? Could be, let us know on that one too. Yep, all right, let's go get this one up and down and uh, hopefully Ashley can, I don't think I hit the green, so I'll have to get it pretty close. <laughs> cool. All right, Ashley's chosen the hybrid, we're just off the green, so it should get it rolling pretty quickly. 
Oh, you just ran right over a uh, dragonfly. Oops. Are you going to putt with that or the U-Wedge next? I think we'll go back to the U-Wedge. <laughs> The magic has run out. <laughs> Can't make them all, but John didn't leave me with the easiest first putt. But the next hole is a par four, 320 yards. You're going with the Callaway two wood? Yep, Callaway two wood, all original. Still got the original That's grip cool. in that uh, Memphis 10 shaft. Should be fun to hit. Leave ourselves with uh, hopefully not another U edge. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. Nice shot. That's more of the shots I'm used to seeing John hit, but I got about 15 feet for birdie. All right, let's see if we can't end with the birdie here. Perfect pace. Oh, man. All right, guys, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. A little bit of thrifting, a little bit of golf, so not a bad day if you ask me. It was a little slow there on the thrifting day until we got to that last thrift store, but they always have a ton of golf clubs. Yeah, so we're I just wish they wouldn't let them sit outside and rust. Yeah, you kind of have to get there the same day that they uh, are donated or else they'll get rusty. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys like this video. We're going to do a little bit of sightseeing, but the weather kind of turned on us there. Yeah. But uh, it's always a lucky town. That is the town where I proposed to <laughs> Ashley. It's also the oldest city in the uh, United States, St. Augustine, Florida. It's yeah. home to the World Golf Village. So let us know if you guys want us to do like more travel stuff where like we go thrifting and then kind of like explore the town at the same time. I think that'd be really cool. So if that uh, sounds good, uh, let us know in the comments below. But uh, until next time. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I said that wrong. Until next time. I know. I don't know. <laughs> just keep waving. We're always, yeah, just keep waving. <laughs>